Hello, future friends and family. Oh, look, I got to finish it. Uh, and the reason being because this is actually the first solo player uh, Let's Play we'll be offering on this channel, uh, on the Pickles in the Microwave channel. Uh, so it's no Joshua this time, uh, just myself, and I'm going to play through, I think, what's probably going to be a definite sleeper hit this year because I think it suffers from a little bit of a trouble coming out in the same week as Last of, Last of Us called Remember Me, and there isn't too much on it. Um, so we're going to play through this. Uh, might try to play through the whole thing, edit a little bit. We'll see what goes on since this is our first one. Uh, it's obviously a little cutscene thing as far as that. Uh, but I, I played through it a little bit just to test it out, and it's a solid game. So we're going to go through. Yeah, so I played a little through it a little bit. Um, I'm gonna turn the subtitle on. So. I'm gonna load that because uh, I don't feel like doing the other two. One's too hard, one's too easy, so we'll go right in the middle. Um, so again, I'm Spork Forever. Uh, you can also call me Mark. Doesn't matter to me. Uh, and we're gonna play through this game and hopefully have a little After fun. After our boat sank, I was the only refugee to reach the shore. B. Arthur. I held my husband's hand until the very last second. I thought B. Arthur was the husband. I can still feel him. The nails of his fingers sticking into mine. You know? The first night he said to me, let's share our memories. I remember I was sort of afraid. But, um, <laughs> then he smiled and we hit the switch together. And then I felt everything. Oh, for the first she seems time, terribly I happy about that. Living all of his love for me. It, but what about his perverted so thoughts? Warm and so strong that it, it almost that, hurt. That could be taken out of context for the last really few badly. Years, every day has been our first day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the weather was so hot that day. The streets stank of this awful smell of burning plastic. So you should recycle. We walked with the other children across town until we were outside of Paris. Fired. The war was over. I don't know if I'll ever find the courage to give these memories to my son, but I'm relieved to know that they are all safe and secure. Thanks to my sensen, I choose to remember every defining moment of my life, the good ones and the bad. Thanks to my sensen, my husband lives on here. That's sweet. And here. An Xbox ring on your neck. Ooh. No red ring. I lose everything. 2084. I'd rather have the crib notes. It's it's just better for me. Episode zero. Great way to start. Episode that doesn't exist. Reboot. Doot doot. Uh oh. I gotta worry about megabyte and nulls. Get off the grid. Get off the grid. And this is what happens when your brain red wings. <laughs> Downloading to the cloud now. Seems painful. Oh yeah, I want to apologize in advance, guys. If you hear a train in the background, it may happen fairly, fairly frequently. There is a train right by our new place, and it's kind of loud, so I'm sorry about that. I'll try to talk over it and rush out. Yeah, it's it's a bad one. Can you hear me? Yes. What is your name? Marin. What do you hear? What did you say? Wait, could you shop more at Space Age 101? Yeah. Now that's a first. It's like forever 2201. We'll 2221. Those last memories. He's what year is it? Got the generic 1950s headbands and. Do you know where you are? Seems to be wearing the no. same stuff as Raiden from the latest so Metal Gear Solid game. Thank you. 
for your cooperation. Isn't that what Judge Dredd says? You don't like Judge Dredd. Dr. Quaid. Yes. Quaid? Really? This subject Quaid! is displaying some resistance. Complete the substitution protocol. Doesn't look like Schwarzenegger. Send her to me. I'll erase the last This is this is myself. what happens in an alternate reality. Yes, Doctor. Quaid uh, goes back and works for recall. And uh, becomes a doctor. Schwarzenegger as a doctor is a scary, scary thing. I, I don't even want to think about that. Okay, so. <laughs> It's like the worst straight jacket I've ever seen. There's no arms, there's no nothing. Good day. Raise your head, please. Okay. Oh, the tutorial. Oh, oh. Thank you. Wait, That's so said, you uh, still have all my vitals and my information there. Why don't I just hack the SIP system and get all my memory? Please follow the orange line to your next assignment. Hi, Capcom. Boy, it's been for us since I played an actual Capcom game. Like, I play the fighting games, but not not the games too often. Uh, okay. Da -da -da. This little robot looks like Jack from Gears of War. Very good. What are we looking at? What's in here? It's uh, what's on your head? I don't. Is that Connor? Connor, it's okay. You you were good in Assassin's Creed. It's okay. You don't have you don't need to go into you don't need to be in another one. Poor guy. Doesn't even get a sequel. I don't. I don't remember. What's down here? I'm actually kind of curious. How do they react to? Oh, look, they actually see. They're not very concerned with my existence. Hi, can I spy on everything and find everything? No. no. I feel like I'm Drew you LaForge visor on the back of their head. Oh my god, it's Cole McGrath. Cole McGrath, use your electricity abilities. Get us out of here. Wait. Connor. Cole McGrath. If Price is around the corner, this is like the PS3 com commercial where they all met and went to dinner. Oh, there's the other line. Oh. Uh. Don't think that's Price, no. That's, uh, that's Anne Hathaway. It's Anne Hathaway from La Mirrors, which I didn't watch. I swear I didn't. I might have. Shut up. <laughs> I had to. Uh, <laughs> da 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 da! Unknown. Quick, hack the Gibson! Hack the Gibson! I'm gonna make that joke up a lot, I get a feeling. Oh, it's his birthday! Or they're trying to talk him out of a recent engagement, which would make more sense. Don't do it! It's a trick! No, I'm all for marriage. Get married. Have lots of kids. As long as you can beat them. Uh... I don't got these things on their heads. It's weird. It's like VR. Oh, that's like me every Tuesday. I don't want to go to work. No. What's that? It's like an iRobot over there. Please stand in line and wait for your turn before sitting down on the chair. What chair? That chair? Oh. It's it's the Total Recall chair. What the hell? They literally just jack pieces of Total Recall. Oh. oh. He was a bad egg. This guy's gonna get programmed to be a spy on Mars. Nilin, on vacation. Can you hear me? Yes. They're about to wipe your brain, Nilin. Don't let them do it. I need to create a Wait, didn't you already wipe my brain? So I have to wipe it again. And there's a whole row of these guys. That's a giant plot hole. There's clearly problems with the wiping process. That you have to wipe people twice. Ugh, robot. Da! Ah! Where did these guys come from? There's no one behind me. Oi! 
It's like a transporter malfunction. That got their attention. Millen, the large metal shutter is going to raise on your left. If you understood me, move your head. I'm linked to your sensei. I'll feel it. You can feel me moving my head? That's, uh, that's interesting. They erased my memories, but they couldn't erase that I was a champion limbo dancer! Um, by champion, I mean I didn't come in last. I placed second to last. Out of four. So. Woo! Do the math. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we got here. What is this? What is this? Destroy! Destroy Robinson family! No? No, that's not that robot. That is... That is RoboCop 2. That is very much RoboCop 2. His head just needs to open up and he'll blow me out away. Do, 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 do. Some nuke. Wow, I'm as tall as his crotch. That's frightening. Oh, I can't remember the bad guy from RoboCop 2. If you guys can remember, let me know. I, I remember Clarence Boddicker was the one in the first one, but the guy inside the suit, the armor, the guy who actually was RoboCop 2. Let me know that one. That's a call. Coercive unit. I don't... That doesn't sound good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, that re it really is. That really is the robot from RoboCop 2. A little red bean. Oh. Run, run, run. Run, ring, run, ring, run, ring, run, ring, run, ring, run, ring. A lot of games start like this. A lot of games start like this. Quick, right. <laughs> jump in the trash compactor. It's okay, there'll only be something down there in the moving in the water. Oh. Maybe some stormtroopers in there and a wookie. Get up. You've got to keep going. Actually, she's dressed like a stormtrooper. In bondage. Do, 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 do. Red light, blue light, red light, blue light. Hmm. Whoa. Where am I? You're almost there. Slide into a casket. Almost where? Casket. It's a casket match. I don't want to get in a casket. That doesn't. That doesn't sound fun. I don't want to do it. It's got to be another way out. These are some really advanced caskets. Oh yeah, if you, this is things that pop up as warnings to you, so you, so the player knows what's going on. I think it's part of the something. It's kind of like a Google glasses type of thing. If you've used the Google goggles, it's kind of an interesting idea to f convince the player of how to go. She didn't really put up a lot of fight. She jumped into a coffin fairly easily, and that one happened to have a lot more timing between use. That's not a coffin. That's a photon torpedo. Mr. Wolf. Fire photon torpedoes. Whoosh. Okay, and that is chapter one, guys. Chapter zero. And we are going to call it on that one. But we'll have another one up shortly with chapter, actually, I guess episode one, because it was episode zero. Uh, if you want to see more of this, let me know down in the description. Like, subscribe. We'll go on with this process. I like this game. I actually had a lot of fun with it. And when you guys get to see more of the gameplay, finally some combat and some as other aspects of the game. It's definitely an interesting game. It's got a lot of similarities to some other games out there, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, and as always, I'm Spork Forever. You can also call me Mark, and I'll see you around.